Hi everyone, I'm Beth from Twinkle and today we're going to be talking about introducing coding to children using a program called Scratch Junior. Now if you've ever felt intimidated by the idea of teaching children how to code, you are definitely not alone. Luckily you do not have to be an expert in HTML or Python to help children learn how to code. Here at Twinkle we have designed a scheme of work that is entirely based on a really simple but really really useful program called Scratch Junior. Yeah. Let's have a look. Scratch Junior is a completely free app designed for younger children, which is available for all Apple and Android tablets. It's a way of helping children become familiar with the idea of creating an algorithm by locking together these puzzle pieces to create a string of instructions which controls a little character or sprite. In this scheme of work, we show you how to select a character, Change a background. Make the character move. Change size. And make sounds. There are also special blocks to delay instructions or make instructions repeat. I often find that when children are struggling to understand something on screen, it can really help to take the screen away and walk through the action physically. Here, you can use these printable Scratch Junior blocks to piece together an algorithm. Remember to discuss what each block means. Then, get your child to follow the instructions. To make it more complicated, you could add in some repeating blocks. Physically acting out their algorithms helps children to understand how their coding instructions will affect the character on screen. This scheme of work has many different worksheets, giving ideas for different algorithms to follow. Can your child predict what will happen with each algorithm? There are so many possibilities with Scratch Junior that when children are tasked with creating their own algorithm, they may feel a bit overwhelmed. So why not create a random idea generator? In one container, have some ideas for different characters. In another, ideas for different places. And in the final one, ideas for different actions or situations. Can children then use their problem solving skills to create an algorithm to suit this? That's it for now. Have fun coding with Scratch Junior. See you next time.